Hello Java beginner, we're going to teach you variables. Variable is very simple. It's an item that's named in this case x and this item is going to be assigned a value. This value is associated with that item or the name so in this case 50 is now x and when we call x at any point later in the program it will still be 50. It just holds a value forever and ever until we need it again. Next we're going to talk about what's a variable declaration. That's actually pretty simple so Java doesn't know what x equals 50 is unless you specify the variable type. It's going to be an integer so int for integer and now the integer x is equal to 50. Something to know is that equal even though this is an equal sign equals does not equal equals. Equals means to set a variable equals equals means equals but we'll talk about that later. There is more than one type of variable declaration. As a matter of fact, there are quite a few, but we're only going to focus on integers. Just know there's doubles, strings, chars, and others, but just not yet. So to use a variable, you're going to need to use an assignment. We've already seen what an assignment is. I already did that up here where uh, x equals 50. The assignment is using the assignment operator. And again, the assignment operator is just the equal sign. So when you want to assign a variable, uh, x has already been defined, so x equals 900 and that number. That This is an assignment. This is an assignment to x. What's important to note is that the variable must be on the left. Variable must be on left. The assignment must be on right. In this case, the numbers. And finally, how to initialize variables. I actually did that already. When, you're, when you declare a variable, let me go ahead and go back here. When you declare a variable, this is all declaring a variable is. It's just saying there is an integer x, there is a double y, there is a string z, there is a char w. These don't have anything set to them. They haven't been initialized. This is an initialization. It's when I say integer x is equal to 420. This means that I am initializing it. I am saying there is an integer x variable that will hold the number and that number is going to be set to 420. I have initialized and declared all at once and so this variable is just ready to go. So we're going to use the system.out.println which is going to show us in the output what to do. So x divided by 2 that should be 210 right? So let's run it and let's find out and as you can see it shows 210 in the output and that's just going to show that you can mess around with this operator. Now what's cool is the variable is still 420. If I divide that by 4 it's going to be 105. It's not going to change because it was 210. It's still 420. That's because the variable is forever 420 until I change it like so. Let's say x is equal to x plus 20. Now it's going to be 440. Let's do that again. Let's see. It should be what? 10, 110. Not 10 anything. 110. And then you can see that. Now we do plus 4. And notice I put two spaces there. It doesn't matter. Now it's 444. How about minus 4? Okay. That's pretty cool modulo 4 which you probably don't know about but you will later and that's equal to zero don't worry we're going to get in that into a future uh, tutorial and that pretty much sums up variables to a very basic extent that's all you need to know as a beginner i have a lot of labs you can practice on my channel in the beginner playlist thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you later